there everybody welcome back to my bookshelf tour this is the second one i've done on the channel this is my update for 2023 january 2023 i plan to do this about every six to eight months or so but i will be diving into my new book collection before we do so though please hit that like button down below subscribe to the channel for continued star wars content let me know if you want to see more collecting type videos because i did a lot of those last year and i've gotten away from it a bit so if you want to see the return of collecting stuff let me know if you're not checking out the bad batch coverage we're putting up check it out we're reviewing the bad batch every single wednesday and posting predictions speculation every friday we're giving you guys a lot of star wars content here on star wars lads so subscribing would be the best way to help us out here on the channel and comment below let me know what you think of my collection and before we get started though i just want to point out one thing i am missing a few easy to find books don't let me know in the comments that I'm missing those. Yes, I am aware I'm missing them and I'll probably bring them up in my tour. I have a rule with myself when I'm collecting. It's that I don't buy any of the really easy find books until I find them at a used bookshop. I go to used bookshops a lot in that pursuit. Obviously, I'm not going to find something rare every single time. So I want to give myself something to look forward to. So I am missing a couple Bantam books or some of the easy to find new Jedi Order books. I know I'm missing them. <laughs> That's my, my little routine. Lastly, make sure you stay tuned to the very end of the video. I have one final surprise book that you're going to want to see at the very end. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so we'll kick it off here with Dawn of the Jedi Into the Void. Then Revan by Drew Carpician, one we just did for Legends Book Club. Deceived by Paul S. Kemp. Fatal Alliance by Sean Williams and Annihilation by Drew Carpician. Closing out the Old Republic era of Drew Carpician's Darth Bane trilogy, starting with Path of Destruction, an SFBC hardcover of Rule of Two, and then a standard size for Dynasty of Evil. Next is my favorite Star Wars book of all time, Darth Plagueis by James Lucino, Darth Maul's Shadowhunter by Michael Reeves. The only cover of The Phantom Menace I have right now is the Obi-Wan Kenobi cover, probably the only one I need, but I might get more in the future. Rogue Planet by Greg Bear, Outbound Flight by Timothy Zahn, The Approaching Storm by Alan Dean Foster, Jedi Trial by David Sherman and Dan Cragg, The Clone Wars Film Novelization by Karen Travis, the only TPP I have up here with my heart covers is the Clone Wars Wild Space. I still need no prisoners, but I'm looking for a hard cover of Wild Space as well. The SFBC Republic Commando Volume 1. And then I am missing Volume 2, but I do have Order 66, which is included in Volume 2 and was the only Republic Commando novel to get a hard cover in standard size. Shatterpoint by Matthew Stover. We also just did a Legends Book Club of this novel as well. The SFBC hard cover of the Med Star Duology by Michael Reeves and Steve Perry, and then the unofficial Dark Lord trilogy starting with Labyrinth of Evil by James Lucino, Revenge of the Sith by Matthew Stover, and Dark Lord The Rise of Darth Vader by James Lucino, Kenobi by John Jackson Miller, I have a book that goes between Kenobi and the Han Solo trilogy in the timeline that I'm going to save for the end of the video, but here's the Han Solo trilogy. Forgive the glare, it's in one of those protective plastic cases. Force Unleashed by Sean Williams. Death Star by Michael Reeves and Steve Perry. The SFBC hardcovers of the Han Solo Adventures trilogy, starting with Han Solo at Star's End. Han Solo's Revenge. And the hardest one to find, Han Solo and the Lost Legacy. Death Troopers by Joe Schrieber, another subject of one of our Legends book clubs back in October. The difficult to find Star Wars Tales, edited by Kevin J. Anderson, collected in one SFBC omnibus that collects Tales from Jabba's Palace, Tales from Oz Eisley Cantina, and Tales of the Bounty Hunters. Allegiance by Timothy Zahn, the acclaimed follow-up to Allegiance Choices of One, also by Timothy Zahn, the SFBC hardcover of Splinter of the Mind's Eye, again my beat-up copy of the Empire Strikes Back SFBC hardcover that I got for free in an eBay listing, Shadows of the Empire by Steve Perry, and in that same eBay listing I also got a copy of Return of the Jedi in SFBC hardcover format, also free. The Complete Bounty Hunter War is collected in one SFBC hardcover volume by K.W. Jeter. An SFBC hardcover of The Truce of Bakura, Matthew Stover's Luke Skywalker in the Shadows of Mindor. A super clean copy of Star Wars The Courtship of Princess Leia by Dave Wolverton. Tatooine Ghost by Troy Denning. This is also an SFBC hardcover. The Greatest Star Wars Trilogy of All Time, The Thrawn Trilogy, begins with Heir to the Empire, Dark Force Rising, and ends with The Last Command. Next is Kevin J. Anderson's Jedi 
Academy Trilogy, which is also collected in a singular SFBC hardcover. The loose sequel slash tie-in to the Jedi Academy Trilogy, written by Michael A. Stackpole, I, Jedi, which ties Corn Horn into the events of the trilogy. Children of the Jedi by Barbara Hambly, starting the unofficial Callista Trilogy. Planet of Twilight, also by Barbara Hambly. This is actually the third book in the trilogy. I'm missing Darksaber. Like I said at the beginning, I'm missing some really easy to find ones because I like to save those in case I go to a used bookshop and they don't have anything else. I can just pick it up and feel good about my trip there. The Crystal Star by Vonda N. McIntyre. This is an SFBC hardcover. Pristine SFBC hardcover of The Black Fleet Crisis. The New Rebellion by Christine Catherine Rush. Timothy Zahn's Hand of Thrawn duology, starting with Spectre of the Past, and concluding with Vision of the Future. The last book I have so far in my Legends Zahn collection, Survivor's Quest. And then moving on to the New Jedi Order, starting with Vector Prime, continuing with the SFBC hardcover of Dark Tide, the SFBC hardcover of Agents of Chaos, the SFBC hardcover of Edge of Victory, the SFBC hardcover of Dark Journey, the SFBC hardcover of Enemy Lines, and the SFBC hardcover for Trader. Like I referenced at the beginning, the rule that I've kept where I don't buy the easy to find books unless I find them at a used bookstore maintains with the new Jedi Order. I only have Vector Prime, Destiny's Way, and then you'll see the Unifying Force. I'm missing Star by Star and Balance Points, so those are some easy ones to find that I don't have yet. But I do have the hardest multi-book collection to find in the new Jedi Order, Force Heretic by Sean Williams and Shane Dix. This one is really hard to find. And the hardest single book paperback released SFBC hardcover to find, The Final Prophecy. Here's my copy of The Unifying Force, like I referenced earlier. And then we move on to the Dark Nest Trilogy SFBC hardcover. The first book in the Legacy of the Force, Betrayal by Aaron Alston. The first SFBC hardcover exclusive, Bloodlines by Karen Travis. The SFBC hardcover of Tempest by Troy Denning. The SFBC hardcover of Exile, the standard size hardcover of Sacrifice, and then I'm missing Inferno and Fury, but I have Revelation, and finally Invincible, Millennium Falcon by James Lucino, and I do have every novel in the Fate of the Jedi series, starting with Outcast, Omen, Abyss, Backlash, Allies, Vortex and SFBC hardcover. I really need to get a standard size of this because it's my only one of the Fate of the Jedi books in SFBC. Conviction, Ascension, and my last hardcover for Legends so far is Apocalypse. I am missing Crucible and X-Wing Mercy Kill. And I do have four of the junior novel hardcovers in Legends, beginning with Legacy of the Jedi and Secrets of the Jedi by Jude Watson, and then Jedi Quest, which I also believe is subtitled Path to Truth by Jude Watson, and then Boba Fett, Fight to Survive. I believe a couple of the other Boba Fett books are also published in hardcover, which I need to get. So here's my junior novel paperback collection for Legends. I have Jedi Apprentice 1 through 6. I'm missing number 7. I have 8 through 12, and then I'm missing 13 and 14. I have 15 through 16, and then I'm missing 17 and 18, and I have one of the special editions and missing the second one. Jedi Quest has been the hardest series for me to find in paperback, at least of these like prequel era series that have come out. I've only found three of the books, Jedi Quest 2, 4, and 6, and then I have the hardcover. Boba Fett, I have all six of them, including the first print of number six that just says Star and doesn't say Wars on it. Check yours to see if you have that. And then I have all ten books in the Last of the Jedi series. And then finishing off here, there's my Porkins toy. I also have Legacy of the Jedi and Secrets of the Jedi in that paperback volume. I have all six books in the Jedi Prince series for what that's worth. I only have one book in the Star Wars Mission series, Assault on the Evan Four. Then I have three books in the Rebel Force series, only two books in Galaxy of Fear, and one book in Junior Jedi Knights. Galaxy of Fear and Junior Jedi Knights, to me, have been the hardest to find in general. Jedi Quest is probably third, but I can't find really any of these in the wild. I'll have to buy these on eBay at some point. Then right here I have my Young Jedi Knights books. I'm still missing quite a few in the series, but I have Heirs of the Force and Shadow Academy, The Lost Ones, Jedi Under Siege, Diversity Alliance, Jedi Bounty, and Illusions of Grandeur. And this is one of my favorite things I have in my collection. This is a first print paperback of Star Wars from the Adventures of Luke Skywalker from 1976 before the film even came out. This was the first version you could get. The SFBC hardcover didn't come out until later. So this is technically the first piece of Star Wars ever, and I'm so happy I have this in my collection. I have a graded copy of Star Wars number one here. I do have a lot of issues of the Marvel 70s and 80s Star Wars, but I'm not gonna show that in this video. Maybe if you wanna see that, let me know. I'll do a comic collection video as well. 
So here we're looking at a stack of paperbacks that I either have only in paperback and don't have the hardcover yet, or were only imprinted in paperback. Starting with Mall Lockdown, which I need the hardcover of, Jedi Twilight and Patterns of the Force, which is the first and third book in the Coruscant Knights trilogy. Then Lando Calrissian and the Mind Harp of Sheru. I need the hardcover of that as well. Shadow Games is extremely hard to hardcover to find, so I need the hardcover of that one. And then I have X-Wing Rogue Squadron, X-Wing Wedge's Gamble, The Kratos Trap, Back to War, Iron Fist, and Solo Command. I'm still missing about three books in that series. And then down below, I have Tales from the Empire and Tales from the New Republic, which were never collected in hardcover format. And then Scourge, which is one of the hard SFBC hardcovers to find. Moving on down here, I have my Star Wars Legends Omnibus. I have The Old Republic Volume 1, Rise of the Sith, The Empire Volume 1. And then the original Marvel years, I only have Volume 2 and 3. Volume 1 is so hard to find, and I hope they reprint it at some point. The Droids and Ewoks Omnibus. And then I get into my epic collections here. I have Tales of the Jedi Volume 1, which is hard to find nowadays. Tales of the Jedi Volume 2. The Old Republic Volume 4, because I got rid of 1 through 3 when I got the Omnibus. The Clone Wars 1 and 3, as well as 4. Volume 2 is extremely hard to find, but I think 3 is also getting hard to find as well. The Rebellion Volume 1, which I'm hoping to sell and then upgrade to the Omnibus soon for the Rebellion. And there's also New Republic Omnibus I need to get, but I have New Republic Volume 5. That one is getting hard to find, but I think with the Omnibus just announced, it'd probably be a little easier to find. I have the New Republic Volume 6, which deals with the Crimson Empire stuff, and then Volume 1 of Legacy. Volume 2 is super hard to find as well. I have one of the volumes of Lost Tribe of the Sith, that Spiral. I have a Knight Errant hardcover. I have the TPB of Darth Maul, as well as my childhood TPB of Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. That's probably pretty beat up if I pulled it out. This is one of the Clone Wars graphic novellas, The Star Cruiser Trap. And then I have Darth Maul Death Sentence, as well as three of the four Vader miniseries, Darth Vader and the Cry of Shadows, Darth Vader and the Ghost Prison, and Darth Vader and the Ninth Assassin, Boba Fett, Enemy of the Empire, Empire Volume 1, Star Wars Honor and Duty, Rebellion Volume 2, Rebel Heist, Splinter of the Mind's Eye, the Omnibus Early Victories, one of the old Dark Horse Omnibus, which actually does collect Splinter of the Mind's Eye as well, so I probably don't need that anymore, two of the volumes of Star Wars Adventures, the Dark Force Rising TPB, I have Last Command and Heir to the Empire in singles. I posted this in a collection update short last year, but this is the Union hardcover from the 30th anniversary collection of Dark Horse hardcovers. Even though I'm upgrading a lot of this stuff to the Marvel Omnis or the Epic collections, I would actually still love to get a complete set of 30th anniversary collection hardcovers from Dark Horse. There's a lot of really nice Dark Horse hardcovers out there. And then to round off my collected edition collection for Legends, this is Legacy 2. All four volumes of Legacy 2, as well as a Tales, Star Wars Tales volume, volume 2, and the hardcover of the Star Wars, which is pretty neat. I just read this, actually, and it was enjoyable, but it's pretty interesting. And then a bunch of the random little kids' books that I had when I was a child. Uh, we were going to sell these, but I ended up not selling them at a yard sale. And then a Marvel IDW hardcover of the classic newspaper sh comic strips. I know there's an omnibus for these and there are epic collections, but I really like the way this is laid out. So let's move on to canon. I'm starting with Path of Deceit by Tessa Grattan and Justina Ireland. Light of the Jedi going back to High Republic Phase 1. The High Republic Into the Dark. I mentioned this last time, but I'll mention it again. One of my favorite High Republic covers so far, The Rising Storm. This is the Target cover. I also got the Target cover of Out of the Shadows, Fallen Star, Barnes Noble Edition, and Midnight Horizon. One I did pick up, even though I listened to it first, was Dooku Jedi Lost. I really love this, so I had to pick this cover up especially. It looks really awesome. Padawan by Kirsten White. Master and Apprentice by Claudia Gray. Queen's Peril and Queen's Shadow. As you can see, I started Queen's Shadow, didn't make it too far in. I will buy Queen's Hope once I finish these two, or if I find it at a price, I can't refuse. Brotherhood by Mike Chen. One of the harder canon books to find, Dark Disciple by Christy Golden. A book I talk about every chance I can get because it's so underrated. Catalyst, a Rogue One novel by James Lucino. The Thrawn Ascendancy Trilogy. You really have to read this trilogy if you haven't. These are so good. One of the other harder to find canon novels, Lords of the Sith. As well as Tarkin, which is probably equally hard to find. 
Most Wanted, and Rebel Rising. Even though it's out of order, I am putting the Canon Thrawn trilogy together because I like to keep my trilogies next to each other on the shelves. The first ever Canon novel, A New Dawn. The first Canon novel that surprised a lot of people and got a lot of people talking about Canon, Lost Stars. Claudia Gray's great young Leia novel, Leia, Princess of Alderaan. From a certain point of view, A New Hope, I am missing the Empire Strikes Back version. Again, kind of out of chronological order, but I do have the two Battlefront books right next to each other, Twilight Company and Inferno Squadron. Another hard-to-find early canon book that was supposed to be a Legends novel, Heir to the Jedi by Kevin Hearn. Canon telling of the wedding of Han and Leia, this is the Princess and the Scoundrel. The underwhelming Aftermath trilogy, although I am a fan of Empire's End. I've often stated this is probably the biggest series in canon I have yet to read, but I have read Alphabet Squadron, so I did buy Shadowfall and Victory's Price. I am looking forward to getting into those as well. One of my favorite Star Wars novels in a long time, Shadow of the Sith. Followed by my favorite Star Wars canon novel of all time, Bloodline. The criminally underrated Phasma. The novelizations of the sequel trilogy, starting with The Force Awakens and Last Jedi, The Rise of Skywalker is on the next shelf. The multi-story collection, Canto Bite. Another one I'm really looking forward to reading, Galaxy's Edge, Black Spire, considering it is the sequel to Phasma. Resistance Reborn. And finally, The Rise of Skywalker. Ronin, which doesn't belong in the canon continuity or the Legends continuity. Stories of Jedi and Sith. This is the Star Wars Celebration 2022 cover edition with Obi-Wan on the front obviously had to get this i am missing stories of light and dark and then when it comes to canon one of the things i'm most missing and really would like to get are the myths and fables collections but i do have the life day treasury as well as the legends of luke skywalker all four of the high republic junior novels starting with quest for the hidden city a test of courage race to crash point tower and mission to disaster let us know if you want to see a review for quest for the hidden city I have just read it, and we would like to talk about it on the channel at some point. The four early junior novels in canon, starting with Smuggler's Run, then The Weapon of a Jedi, Moving Target, and Before the Awakening. And finally, when it comes to canon junior novels, something I completely forgot existed until I found it at a used bookstore recently, Tales from a Galaxy Far, Far Away, Aliens Volume 1. Moving on to canon comics, I have the Darth Vader Omnibus by Charles Soule and Dr. Aphra Volume 1. I can't wait to get Volume 2. I missed out on the Karen Gillan Darth Vader Omnibus. It was hard for me to pull the trigger since I've read all those in singles. So eventually I'll get that one day as well as the Jason Aaron Omnibus. There is a Volume 2 of Aphra coming out, which I'm excited to get to. I also have the Age of Republic, Age of Rebellion, and Age of Resistance oversized hardcovers. And here's a look at my TPBs for Star Wars canon. I have Son of Dathomir, as well as Han Solo Imperial Cadet, Lando Double or Nothing, Target Vader, the last six volumes of Star Wars, which were not included in the omnibus, then the first two volumes of Charles Soule's Star Wars. I need to get that War of the Bounty Hunters omnibus as well which kind of throws me off with the collecting of do I get the TPBs to match the set or do I just get the omnibus? I have the first two volumes of Darth Vader 2020, first two volumes of Bounty Hunter, first two volumes of Dr. Aphra 2020, which will be collected in that omnibus. TIE Fighter, which has become one that's really hard to find. For some reason, it's never gotten reprinted after its first run. Same with Thrawn as well. The Rise of Kylo Ren, trade paperback. Volumes four and five of Poe Dameron because those were the only ones I didn't read in singles. Allegiance, and then I have the Edge of Balance mangas, Volume 1 and 2. Yes, I know they go at the front, but because they're a different size, I put them there. So that's everything on my canon shelves. I do have one more treat for y'all if you stayed till the end of the video. This was the surprise I promised. I just got one of the biggest whales in all of Star Wars book collecting. If you don't know what that means, that means the hardest books to find. This was one of my dream books. It's one of the books I never thought in a million years I would get. When I made that price guide last year, I never thought I'd have this in my collection. But let's see what that book might be. Hello, what have we here? Let's move over a little bit. And uh, where this is where I said it belonged. Can you guess what it is? Can you guess what it is? It's The Last Jedi. I never thought I'd have this in my collection. And it's such an incredible copy too. It's pretty much flawless. I mean, it's probably like a 9 out of 10. It does look, I think, worse on camera at the top there with the frame, but when you see it in person, it's beautiful. I never thought I'd have this in my collection. I'm very thankful for it. <laughs> I did pay a pretty steep price, 
but not nearly the price that you would pay on eBay. <laughs> Let me know what you think down in the comments. What did you think the book I was promising at the end was going to be? Did you think it was going to be The Last Jedi? Because I really, really cannot believe this. Thank you so much for watching this year's collection update. Let me know what you think of the collection again down below. If you haven't yet, please like the video. Help us get to 40 likes on this video and subscribe to the channel. Help us get to 1,500 subs for the channel. Check out our Bad Batch coverage. We are streaming JFO every single Friday as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.